Hi there guys, normally I start off with the intro jam in these videos but I just want to quickly cut in and say that this is the last of the Sonic 8 products that I was sent some months ago. I've been trying to spread them out so that I'm not continually pushing this one company at you. And Sonic 8 have been very patient about waiting for me to do this. Um, I've got a bunch of isolated examples of every effect in the unit and my intro jam as per normal and you can jump to the time codes below. This is actually quite an interesting learning curve for a small channel not to accept a bunch of effects from one company. Otherwise, you kind of end up turning your channel into their channel. So if you're using modulation in a kind of a sparing way or you're using it in a track as I did in the intro jam, how expensive a unit do you really need? You're really just getting a little bit of atmosphere, a little bit of a wobbly sound in context. So if it's not the main thing, something like this actually makes a lot of sense. This is a pretty neat little product. It's relatively inexpensive as all of these Sonic 8 things are. Uh, probably the most expensive out of the Sonic 8 line though. I reckon it's about £3.50 per effect if you work it out. There are 11 effects or 10 plus the lo-fi setting, as you'll see in just a moment. Um, my one complaint is that it's quite tricky to dial some of these things in. The usable travel on the dials is in some cases no more than about two or three millimeters. Uh, so what I've tried to do with these effects is to dial in the best sound that I could, um, not just twiddle the dials because you would find that it would sound awful in a lot of places. The reason for that being the parameters are different for each of the effects, but whilst the sounds themselves are digital, the dials are going to be analog. So, for instance, on the blue vib, you might have the rate control set two-thirds up, whereas if you set the rate control two-thirds up on a flanger, it would sound like a dystopian nightmare. So uh, I'm just basically going to play you the best sound that I could get from each of the effects. Thank you. 
All in all, it's not a bad little product. I, I quite like the sound of the chorus. Uh, the tremolos are good. I thought the blue vib was good as a fast rate Leslie. Um, the weaker effects for me would be the rotary. I wasn't totally blown away by that one or the uh, or the phaser, but not bad. The lo-fi is just a waste of a position to me. You can't actually get a note out of it. No matter where you set the controls, it will always be atonal white noise. Uh, but not bad. It's going to appeal to someone that wants to try effects for the first time. Uh, if you just want to see whether it affects your jam and whether you would even use it or like I said at the start of the video if you're just going to bury it in a track and, and just use it as a bit of movement a little bit of atmosphere it could be a really inexpensive way of getting that not a bad pedal thanks to Sonic Acres ever for sending that over and I'll see you guys in the next video cheers